Guys, you have no idea how excited I am to see what's in this box right here. Actually, a few months ago, a friend of mine actually got this animal, sent me a picture, and I was smoked on it. It's definitely one of the rarest turtles that I'm ever going to have, and I cannot believe that I actually am getting it today, or I should say, got it today. So what do you say we just open this monkey up and uh, see what's inside? And like I said, this is just a true amazing, I've been telling you guys I've become a kind of turtle maniac, right? So first off, I wanna show you these guys, which are actually just kind of a throw in. My friend that said that I could just have these guys right here, and they are unbelievable. These are little albino side neck turtles. You guys know, like I said, that I have been getting crazy about turtles lately, and these guys are so absolutely cute. You can see how they tuck their head in right there. They're albinos, of course, we have the normal side neck turtles. So these are some albinos. You See this one's just kind of peeking its head out going what's going on here so we'll go ahead and put these guys together with the normal side neck and uh, eventually they'll come on display here at the reptarium but the truth is is that this isn't what i was the most excited about don't get me wrong i am super stoked about this because i have become a turtle nut like i've been mentioning but the actual animal that i am blown away that is super super rare is in this little tub right here Okay, so let's just go ahead. We've got to cut a couple things real quick. Tell you what, guys, there are times I'm nervous, and this is definitely one of them. Oh, my goodness. It's actually much smaller than I expected it to be, to be totally honest with you. I knew it was going to be small, but this is it right here. Take a look at this. Oh my goodness, this thing is the cutest thing in the world. And for those of you guys that don't know why this is so rare, this is actually an albino eastern box turtle. That's right, it's an albino box turtle. And there's only a few of these in the entire world. That's right, and I love box turtles. They are super, super adorable. They can be really, really outgoing. Like this one already is looking, he's already poking his head up. He's already like, oh my gosh. And they are just really cool animals. I wanted to get box turtles for a long time because they're such amazing animals. And then when I saw the picture of this albino box turtle, I was like, you've got to be kidding me. I must have that animal. And thankfully, my friend was like, hey, listen, once it's established and doing really well, I'm going to go ahead and let you get it. And we got it. And this is it, guys. Oh, my goodness. Now, the thing is, is that the setup is very important. Now, number one, these guys as babies are a lot more carnivorous, right? A lot of land turtles and tortoises will eat vegetation. These guys will eat a little bit of that, like just a little tiny bit, but the majority they're going to eat stuff like worms, they're going to eat little like slugs in the wild and stuff like that. You can actually feed them actually turtle food that is a carnivorous food that is actually kind of balled up and they'll actually eat right out of your hands. Absolutely incredible. So as young, they need a lot of protein, but you also need to keep them extremely humid, right? That's really, really vital for these guys. So I'm going to go ahead and get a new setup, set up for this guy, get him in there and just absolutely fall in love with it. I cannot believe how absolutely adorable this thing is. Legitimately, one of the rarer animals that I have here at the zoo, and I am over the moon happy. Let me know in the comments what you guys think about how cute this is. He needs a name, by the way. So what is this little cute monkey's name? Albino Eastern Box Turtle. Don't know if it's a male or female. Probably going to be several months before we're going to be able to tell, but oh my goodness, he definitely needs a name. Go down in the comments. Let me know what you guys think, because this cute monkey is absolutely amazing addition to the reptarium. So what's important when it comes to care of these box turtles is at this size is to make sure that there's really high humidity, number one. You don't want a basking light at all, and you don't want it to be too over light either because they'll literally typically spend the majority of the first year of their life almost underground buried and in the water a lot. As a matter of fact, a lot of turtle breeders will actually keep baby box turtles in like just a little bit of water with no substrate whatsoever. So what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna move El Toro the bull snake up top over here, and we're gonna use this enclosure because it's a little bit cooler the way you want to do it. Now we're going to put a thick layer of coconut bedding on the bottom here and we're going to make it really, really damp, right? And that bedding is going to lead right up into this water bowl where it can actually climb into the water bowl, get in the water as much as it wants, might spend the majority of its time in the water, but also can climb out, right? So we're going to have to disinfect this cage 100%, kind of redo the entire thing over again. And then, like I said, humidity is number one important. If this thing dries out even for one day, it would be a complete disaster. So we got to make sure that the bedding is always super soaked down and it has a lot of water to get actually get in. So Mikey's going to move El Toro out, kind of get this cage all ready to go. And then we're going to go ahead and release it. And with any luck, maybe we'll even get a chance to feed it. I'll show you what we're going to feed it a little bit later on too. So 
Basically, my job today is we have to move different things around because obviously we just got that new box turtle. So my job to set up El Toro's old cage. And now we have to move El Toro out to this cage. So basically I have to remove some of the lights so it's not as hot, vacuum out the substrate, put new substrate down, clean it up, make it look all pretty, healthy, stuff like that. So let's just get rolling. Cage is all set up now, so we're basically just gonna, you know, grab the finishing touches, a couple more sticks out of her enclosure, his enclosure, and we'll put the snake in there. That's pretty much it. Grab the snake, yeah, obviously that's pretty important. And I, I obviously wanted to use his sticks too because his scent's all over it. He's really used to it. So putting him into a new cage, new everything, basically sometimes free snakes out. So we're just gonna make sure it feels as cozy as it can be. So we're gonna throw this stick probably up. I'm not the cage designer here, so don't make fun of me. Be free. So El Toro is our bull snake and obviously she's my favorite she's so so active she moves around a lot she likes to interact with everybody so if you want to interact with her come to rift here now the El Toro is out of his cage and into his new one now i have to completely deep clean this one disinfected everything for the new box turtle uh, so let's get going Everything's all cleaned out, disinfected. So now they like it with really, really thick bedding. So we're gonna give it a nice couple inches of bedding. We're gonna put a water bowl sinking down to the bottom so it's nice and flat. Something that's not too deep, but deep enough to where he can sit, kind of drink from it, also take a bath if he has to, and then get back out. So that's the next move, let's do that. And one more thing we have to do too before we put the little guy in here, we actually have to take this heat light off that was on here for El Toro. Uh, she's got a new one up there, but they don't like too much hot heat and it's very hot. And now I'm acting like I'm dyslexic and this is hot. I can't do it. I will have to come back to that. Now the cage is plenty of bedding, big enough water bowl for him right now. Uh, bedding's all soaked down so it's nice and humid in there for him. Should be good to go. Now we just gotta wait for Brian to release a little dude in his new home. So Mike did a great job of setting this guy up and again we're gonna make this bedding really nice and damp all the time. He's also gonna get an opportunity to go in this water right here if he decides to go in it. Look, I mean he's so small in here but he's so absolutely cute. I cannot wait to actually get an opportunity to work with this guy more and kind of learn all about him. And as a matter of fact we're gonna let him set up for a little bit, maybe come back in an hour or so and actually actually see if we can feed him a little bit of food because he's so outgoing he very well could eat right out of her hands I think that'll be amazing but he is definitely so tiny in this cage I tell you what that is absolutely the cutest little thing in the world and again these guys are gonna get you know probably anywhere from you know five to six inches something in that range so he's got a long way to go but he is looking absolutely incredible unbelievable so uh, that's good now probably put a rock or two in the water as well just so that if he's in the water he can get out you know shouldn't be a problem 
but I just want to make sure 100% that there's nothing that could possibly go wrong with this guy. Because boy, I tell you, as rare as he is and as cool as he is, I don't want anything to happen to him. Look at how adorable he is. I love the fact that he's just so brazen, right? He didn't like hide in his shell. He's just out like looking around like, what is going on? You know, he is going to love this new environment and we're going to take such good care of him. He's going to be my baby for sure. So, uh, wow, I tell you what, I am blown away and I'm so excited that he's now here at the Reptarium. It's only been a couple hours since my albino box turtle actually got here, but we're going to see if it wants to eat for us. Look at that. He's already eating. I mean, that is a great sign that we're through the shipping, like I said, we let him settle in for a couple hours and then I gave him a little bit of a worm and he's already crushing. I mean, that is absolutely the best sign that you could possibly have with an animal knowing that it's not that stressed, right? Because typically, especially with turtles and tortoises, if they're stressed, they won't eat, right? So he is crushing a worm. That's the cutest thing ever. Oh my God, I love this guy to death. another amazing animal to add here to the Reptarium. He's small, I'm nervous. I'm always nervous when I have animals like this, but hey, he ate, it's absolutely incredible. And I say he, but we won't know for a little bit while. Again, name down in the comments, guys. Let me know what you think. If you enjoyed this video, here is another playlist. You can watch some more videos if you want. You could do me another favor, hit that subscription button. Have an absolutely wonderful day, Reptile Army. Remember, be kind to someone, and I promise I'll see you in the next one.